How's it going, everybody? Uh, so we got some stuff to go over. We got, we got, we got things to do. Okay. How much to do? Nah, really not that much. But a lot of it's gonna be video games. What I want to start with today is actually something that's uh a little bit. Oh, how do we? How do I want to put this? I don't script any of this. Um, it's disturbing for multiple reasons, and it also pokes at the heart of uh, one of the things that I enjoy watching and consuming, which is manga, anime. Anime generally is based off of a manga, Japanese comic book, and, uh, well, we actually have an issue. We, we have a fairly large issue, if you ask me, because there's... Oh god. There's a an issue with predation. Let's go with that. Uh there is a, there is definitely a problem with predation from mangaka. So, if I uh go ahead and show y'all, we've got a few things to do here to go over. It has now been zero days since the last time Weekly Shonen Jump didn't contain a manga created by a convicted sex offender, proving that they learned nothing when Act Age writer Tatsu Tatsuya Matsuki was arrested for allegedly sexually assaulting two middle, middle school girls. The manga periodical launched Build King, oh, the, latest and, uh, the latest manga by Toriko creator Mit Mitsutoshi Shimabukuro. Bukuro. In 2002, he... Uh, uh, Shimabukuro was arrested and charged for hiring a 16-year-old girl for sex. He was initially sent, given a two-year jail sentence, but it was suspended for unknown reasons. Shonen Jump canceled his series, Seikimatsu's leader Den Takeshi, as a result of the charges. Shueisha gave him another chance in 2004. Some believe this was at the request of One Piece creator Ichiro Oda. There's reasons that Oda's name appears in, in the tags for this video. They ran his sports comedy manga, Ring, in Super Jump for three volumes. In 2008, he returned to Shonen Jump with Toriko. This is not the first time Shueisha has continued to work with convicted sex offenders. Nobuhiro, that's misspelled, Nobuhiro Watsuki was charged with possession of child pornography in 2017 and was back to work on Rurouni Kenshin Hokkaido arc less than a year later. Not to be done, outdone by their Japanese counterpart, Viz Media has already translated and released the first chapter of Build King on their website. Not good. Now, something I would like to point out. Actually, I'll point that out later. But we've got Mitsutoshi Shimabukuro, uh, Tatsuya Matsuki, and... Nobuhiro Watsuki. The one that hits me the hardest out of those three, because I've never actually read uh, anything by the others, is Nobuhiro Watsuki. I never read anything from uh, Matsuki or uh, uh, Shimabukuro. However, Nobuhiro Watsuki, which they misspelled in here, the very first anime that I fell in love with was Rurouni Kenshin. This manga was phenomenal. I, wa I read the entire thing. I watched everything about it that I could consume. I love Rurouni Kenshin. There's also another manga done by Nobuhiro Watsuki called uh, Buso Rinkin, which I've also read because the two stories I thought were pretty fucking cool. However, knowing what I know now, I've got some issues. Who is Kenya Suzuki? Oshiete Galko-chan creator arrested for pedophile charges, and this one was last year. A shocking piece of news is coming forward where it is reported that the creator of Japanese manga series titled Please Tell Me, Galko-chan, has been reportedly arrested. The manga artist going by the name Kenya Suzuki has become a hot topic among uh, netizens 
as various reports of him being detained have been surfacing on the internet. People are discussing if the artist is really arrested and what he has done that is taken into custody. As per reports, the police, uh, uh, the authorities have detained Kenya Suzuki on pedophilia charges. The artist has reportedly imported an uncovered, has reportedly imported an undercover child photo book from Germany. Besides, it is also coming forward that the manga artist was missing for almost a week and was later arrested by police. Well, if we believe in believe the surfacing reports, it won't be wrong to state that the artist was arrested for all the right reasons as any crime related to a child should be punish punishable. Uh, Kenya also gave his opinion on the disgusting incident. The manga artist stated that he just wanted to have some unclothed pictures of children from overseas that shouldn't be available in Japan. Yeah, that's bad. The Aichi prefectural police Toyota Toyoda has shared that Kenya Suzuki has violated Jap Japan's customs act thus the 40 year old manga creator was arrested on Monday by the Aichi Pre prefectural police Kenya possessed six photo collections collections which he had received via mail last year in September and October gross apart from this the police have also confiscated almost 46 books and publications that contain child pornography from Kenya's residence Last week, Baton, another manga creator, had revealed Kenya's disappearance. Talking about Kenya Suzuki, he is popularly known for his popular manga. Yep. The creator launched the manga back in June 2014 on Kadokawa's Comic Walker, a digital manga service. However, he had issued the manga earlier on Twitter. The said manga was based on an anime broadcasting on television that was released in January 2015, while Crunchyroll had streamed the anime. Currently, Seven Seas Entertainment is set to release the anime in North America. Besides, it's been reported that ANN has already contacted Seven Seas and informed them about Kenya Suzuki's arrest. Their response is awaited. Holy fucking hell, y'all. And then this is actually from August of 2020. Act Age uh, is a final chapter to be published three days after the author's arrest because, well... Tatsuya Matsu Matsumoto, or Tatsuya Matsuki, who was mentioned here, also arrested. Now, there are some things to question, like, why does this seem to be a common problem currently? And also, Oda Ichiro keeps popping up in these. Let's go ahead and move over to here and show you. One Piece mangaka Ichiro Oda faces backlash for upcoming interview with Roni Kenshin mangaka Nobuhiro Watsuki. One Piece mangaka Ichiro Oda has received a wave of backlash towards his recently announced upcoming interview with Nobuhiro Watsuki due to the Roni Kenshin mangaka's widely known child pornography conviction. On March 4th, Japanese news site Oricon, Oricon, Oricon? Yeah. Oricon News reported that a dialogue between Mr. Kazuki and the author of One Piece, Ichiro Oda, would take place on April 24th to commemorate the opening of the 25th anniversary Roni Kenshin exhibition. Following the announcement, fans took social media to express their discomfort and disbelief towards the coming interview, with many specifically criticizing Oda for his continued association with a convicted pedophile due to Watsuki's 2017 arrest and subsequent conviction for possessing multiple DVDs with videos of nude girls in their early teens and other materials. Yellow flash guy. Yep. Pedophiles are trash. I mean, it is disappointing for Oda to even do this. Oda was chosen for the host of the interview due to his early work on Rurouni Kenshin as an assistant under Watsuki, and contrary to many criticisms, his appearance in no way expresses approval for Watsuki's illicit and illegal tastes. Due to cultural differences, the criticism appears to come primarily from Western fans, as Japanese fans have been more forgiving of Watsuki's crimes. Of course. Cultural differences. I mean, age of consent is different in Japan, so there is a huge uh, differential there. Wait, who wrote this? Chibi reviews. Okay. Oda was chosen. Okay. Uh, due to the cultural difference, uh, at the time of his conviction, Watsuki received a light punishment for being uh, of being ordered to uh, pay a two hundred thousand yen or nineteen hundred dollar fine. After paying his debt, the author uh, subsequently saw the return of his then-running Rurouni Kenshin Hokkaido arc to the pages of Jump Square after the series had been put on hiatus following his arrest. As of writing, none of the parties involved have publicly responded to backlash, and I don't think there was a whole lot, except I think there were some vague things from Oda Ichiro coming out and being like, I don't support this. I was asked to do this. 
Like, he's under the thumb of Shonen Jump, and if Shonen Jump and Shueisha want him to go do a thing, he's not really in the position to be able to say no. He doesn't have the same level of clout that um, Akira Toriyama actually does have after 30 fucking years in the game of creating Dragon Ball. But he does have a lot of clout. He could have probably said no, and I would have if I were Oda. Then again, this is Oda's mentor, like the person who taught Oda about manga. Oda was an assistant to Watsuki. The hope, not to defend anything going on here, the hope is that Ichiro Oda is not involved in any of this. I wouldn't... I would be... I wouldn't be overly surprised. I'd be fairly shocked. But I wouldn't be overly surprised, considering the um, apparent culture of predation within the uh, mangaka community. But it would also be a huge blow, because while my original like favorite was Rurouni Kenshin, One Piece has taken that over by far. I don't think Oda is a predator. There probably already would have been shit coming out about Oda. But you do have to hold into the back of your head that there's a possibility, especially considering Shueisha and Shonen Jump seem to try and cover up as much as possible. And One Piece is the highest grossing manga of all time, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. One Piece sales. Wow. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, but yeah, it's one of the highest grossing manga of all time. So if there was a bit of a protectionist element for Shueisha on their bottom dollar, I could understand their angle on it. I would highly disagree. I still think that Shueisha needs to out anybody involved in pedophilia the instant they uncover this. If there was anything going on with the Chira Oda, I do feel like it would have already come out by now, though. The man's been working for 25 years or longer on this one manga. Some of the biggest names have been hit. Watsuki, fucking uh, uh, Suzuki, uh, uh, Matsuki, uh, Shima Bakuro, like huge, huge names. But if you notice, the biggest ones and the ones who have the oldest, uh, the ones who have the actual like oldest uh, uh, mangas and some of the most popular ones, because Toriko is pretty popular. I had never heard of Build King. I did hear of Toriko though. I've never heard of uh, uh, Sekimatsu Leader Den Takashi. Never heard of those. Never heard of Ring. Never, but I have heard of Rurouni Kenshin. That's a huge one. And that's the biggest name that I've heard. Like, I've heard of Toriko, never watched it. Never would I have expected Nobuhiro. Never. But, this goes to show. So, keep an eye out. This doesn't mean that all mangaka are uh, predators. It doesn't mean that it's a highly pervasive culture it does mean however that you need to keep an eye out for this kind of stuff so far Oda Ichiro has only been associated with Nobuhiro Watsuki as far as having an interview and having previously as an apprentice worked for Watsuki that's the closest you're gonna get so now the question is is why is there this culture that uh, or at least this uh not necessarily a culture of it, but a, uh, a pattern that seems to be emerging. Well, much like rich people here in America, mangaka are highly, highly popular, highly powerful individuals in Japanese society. Like, manga's everywhere. Everybody knows who Ichiro Oda is, if they're a manga fan at all. Like, everybody knows about One Piece. That man has a lot of cultural sway and a lot of power. So I 
feel like that's the kind of dynamic that goes on. Rich people in America seem to be getting caught at, honestly, a highly, like, a way more disproportionate rate than people in Japan. But Japan also does have much more lax uh, issues, or not issues, but uh, more uh, lax punishments on this issue. Not good, in my opinion. But then again, yeah, like, it's, it's a thing. So I feel like it's that kind of thing. They're rich, they're powerful, they can do almost anything they want as far as, or they can do anything legal they want because they've got the money. And it comes down to what will excite them and thrill them now. What can they, what can they do to get away with something? And I think that's the main one for them. I mean, it's kind of the big deal with the people in America that do this same shit. People in, in other countries that do this shit. They're really rich and they just want to see if they can get away with it. That and kind of a there may be a cultural element to it. Uh, there, in Japan, it, uh, age of consent is a little different. People are taught differently. I mean, there's people complain in America about sex on TV, and in Japan, it's just not a thing. Like you teach people about sex very young. While that is in general a good thing, the manner in which you teach it is another one, and the willingness to teach people to report. Uh, inappropriate behaviors is another one. But in Japan, yeah, from my understanding, like, there's not really that kind of censorship. Sailor Moon is a child show, and there was nudity in Japan, in, in the Japanese version, but not in the American version. So there's a bit of a cultural disconnect between us and Japan here on that. But there is also a, uh, a financial kind of tie between the two issues. So I, I do believe that uh, there should be, uh, in theory, there should be, if uh, Japanese uh, uh, sex education is taught the way that I know that some people have taught people in America, that, you know, children in America about it, so that they can report this kind of stuff, if they've taught them the same way to be able to, re to uh, report these kinds of uh, uh, abuses, then honestly this means that there isn't a huge issue of child predation in mangaka and that it's actually a much smaller issue however if there's a big difference between the two and they don't teach about reporting and stuff like that then this problem could be far more pervasive than we ever thought and there needs to be something done i i really didn't structure this at all i'm just kind of speaking on it uh general thoughts stuff like that uh and a fairly shallow analysis, honestly, but I do believe that's the main, main uh, thing there. Mm. Anyways, uh, to kind of wrap up and give my general thoughts, um, I hope that this isn't a broader problem that is starting to be uncovered uh, if it is then there needs to be a a discussion about this kind of stuff uh, there needs to be something done about it honestly I say discussion because I don't really know what we could do but th there is there is definitely the potential that we're going to have to Maybe even just sanction Japan until they can figure this shit out. I don't know. I don't like sanctions. I don't like us necessarily getting involved. But if it is going to protect children from being abused, then I would prefer that. However, again, this could be not a broader problem with the uh, culture of mangaka, but more a uh, issue that is being tackled as it arises with these instances. It could just be these four mangaka. That is my hope. Because I really don't want manga to be seen as uh, any more of a strange um, art form that promotes predation than it already is. Because it really doesn't promote predation. There are some. There are some. But as a general rule, I don't think so. 
there's some sussy shit in manga, though. Maybe check out those mangaka. Keep an eye on them. I'll be watching out for anything about Ichira Oda getting this kind of stuff, because that would... That would be do, deal a huge blow to me. Uh, and hopefully it never comes to pass that Ichira Oda's ever caught with anything like that, that he's never done anything like that. If he's done it, I want him to be caught. If he has never done it, I don't want... I, I'm very happy. Uh, like, Jesus Christ. So I'm, I haven't seen Toriko, and I'm not going to watch Toriko. And I'm not going to watch or read Act Age... And yeah, this is the only one that makes me feel really strange. Is like some people believe that uh, uh, Shima Bakuro was uh, given another chance by Shueisha at the request of Ichira Oda. That was in 2004, and One Piece really wasn't that big in 2004. Like it had just started. I don't think he had enough sway to do that. If anyone had enough enough uh, power and sway to be able to get Shueisha to potentially do that, it would be somebody like Akira Toriyama or no Nobuhiro Watsuki. But if Ichiro Oda was involved in that, meh. Just watch yourself, Oda. Like, honestly, watch yourself. Don't, don't involve yourself in that kind of thing. Keep yourself as far away from children as possible in that regard. Like, just make sure that you're not being a predator. Please. It'd be devastating to the world if we lost One Piece because of that. And also, if you do engage in it, fuck you. Uh, that's gonna be it for this uh, video. Let's let's do this. Uh, yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do do the shit. <sighs> fuck. Dropping frames. There's no reason for you to be dropping frames. Got all of those closed. Cool. Alright. Um, rip Meatloaf. Uh, sad day. That uh, the, the, the big man himself is, is gone. It really is. All right, uh, give me just one minute. I gotta get some stuff taken care of. So, like I said, I had to get some stuff. Uh, Y'all can't hear the music I'm listening to because it is in my ear. But uh, one of my favorite bands is Coheed and Cambria. It's, the comic books are a phenomenal story. Uh, there are some elements in there that are dark, uh, really fucked up, and yeah. However, I need to actually open up the game I'm going to play. The overall story, I mean, there's some 
there's some messages in there that I know some people would be like, but this is fascism. And the entire point is to point out how bad authoritarianism and fascism can be. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Wilhelm Ryan, the, uh, Supreme Tribe Age, is, uh, is the one. Alright, so I left off this here. This is my, my name, by myself. Let's see, I'm way further on. Eventually I'll play through this and do it, try and do it 100%. been having a good one. I, I hope y'all have been taking care. Uh, honestly, uh, try not to deal with any of the stuff, the uh, uh, anime that I have uh, mentioned in the previous segment. Uh, one Piece is fine. Ichiro Oda has not been implicated outside of uh, speculations by some people. Um, however, I hate to say it, Nobuki Robotsky uh, author of my previous Before I Discovered One Piece favorite manga of all time. That's, that's gone. We're, we're done with that. Okay? Torco, never gonna even bother at this point. Act Age, gone. Rape, whatever the fuck that is, done. Oh no! So... I gotta figure out, structure my thoughts a little bit better, you know? That, that, that's, that's been the uh, big issue, I fear, has been trying to uh, uncover that level of predation in Kamaka. I really don't want, I really don't want Achira Oda to be implicated in it. I really don't. And I feel like I've got a pretty solid reasoning for it. I just really don't like the idea that he's there doing that shit. Alright. Does this actually sound better? Did I get good sound? You know what? We'll test. Hello, this is a sound test. I want to find out if my sound is coming through clean and nice and crispy as opposed to muffled and muddled. Let's go! Let's go! Alright, I'm gonna be testing that, so, um... Alright, it's not bad. Uh, I do need to turn the sound on the actual game down, though. It, that shit loud. Okay. I keep thinking that people are texting me because I hear a vibrate, and I realize it's not that. It's actually the fan on my computer being mad at me. Um... Last thing I remember is people were getting fucking slaughtered left and right, and it was really fucked up. 
Oh wait, never mind. Because that was. Is it always that far? <gasps> I can. Misha. There's no way it was always that close. No fucking way. Oh, what? Systems outline. Yeah, sure. Companion status, companions in danger, enemies. I don't care about enemy status. No. Loot log, yes. Reticle, yeah, sure. Back. Back. Graphics. Two hundred. Draw distance. Shadow maps. Wow. Let's do high there. Bloom. Let's make it fucking medium because I don't care about that. Texture quality. High. Back. Let's see what's up. Why did they want to capture us? I don't know. I don't want to think about it right now. Will I ask Laurentius to take us to see mommy? No. No, 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 Things are ultra. All right, cool. Daddy. Yes, of course. Where is everyone? Everyone's hiding. Let's see, there's probably going to be some collectibles out and around over here. You know. Visible wall. Can't go there. Not allowed to get anywhere here, am I? They're really big. They won't hurt you. What are those noises? Are they sick? They're just clearing their noses. Come on, we have to go. It's true. We do have to go. I also need to turn down my music. Because it's a little hard to hear the, uh, the chatter. Oh, Athos. Hugo, not now. But... Don't touch them. They're all rotten. But I'm hungry. How can you think of food right now? Same way I think of food all the fucking time. Amicia. Duh. Smoke. There must be a lot of people. Very confusing little town area. They don't really give you much to go on here. Uh, and I don't think I can kill my way through this town. Excuse me, please wait, madam. What's the matter with them? They look scared. Excuse me, I'm the daughter of Lord Robert de Rune. We were attacked, we need help. Please, it's very cold.
nobody there. I'm with my little brother. The Darun estate was attacked. No, I'm begging you, please help door. us. We're wet and hungry. What on earth is going on? Is anyone there? We need help. No one is going to let us in. What's the matter with them? Uh, well, see, the town looks like it was uh, ransacked. I don't believe it. Trying They're to hiding. From people trying to kill you. We that waited shouldn't. too long. We told you we need to leave. And go where? Who's there? Everything. We'll come back later when things are better. We'll be dead before things get better here. That's enough. Don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh, look! Someone's drawn something on the doors. Come back here! That means there are sick people in these houses. Don't touch anything. Oh, they're not allowed to go outside. It's more serious than that. It means that we could catch their illness, so stop running around. All right. Sorry. You're being so very rude, Alicia. Why you gotta be there this way? There was a fire here. They burned all the furniture. Yeah, it's kind of the way people dealt with this. The village is contaminated. That's why everyone's hiding. I can smell something cooking. Is it a fair? Doesn't sound like a fair. <gasps> Good lord. be done. Here's the rest of them. What? No. Wait, we're just looking for someone. And you found him. It's your damn music what brought them out, huh? Those dirty vermin that invaded our church. That filth would attack our children in their beds and gave them the black thing. But now you found Conrad Malfort. And I'm telling you, this is the last village you'll infect. Amicia! Come on! Hugo. What's happening, Amicia? Just run! But why are they angry? Are they going to burn us too? We have to hide, Amicia! Here, get inside, quickly! All's quiet. He's going to see us. Don't move! We have to wait, wait. until they show themselves. Then, eh? What's that? Good. It takes way too long to spin up this, uh... never have come here. Why are they doing that? They think we have brought evil with us. We have to find a way out of here. Good. We can climb onto it now. Come on. Climb up. Yes.
the chain doesn't look very strong. But it will make some noise, right? Do you have a better idea? Let's push this. Right. Help me push. Yes. Come, I'll get you up. Of course. Well, we got out. So we can leave now, right? If they don't find us again. But you have your sling. You can protect us. It's not that easy, Hugo. Oh. Outside out! Oh no, quickly, quickly! Time. The ladder, go and climb, you first! But don't look away from me, Sia! We're running out of time, they're coming! It's going to break. No, no. I told you. You go. Where are you going? Don't leave me. Amicia, come here. This side. So you can climb up. Well done. I'll get it to fall. Watch out. <laughs> come on, come on. Here you go. Well done. I was scared. I'm sorry about the ladder. It's my fault. You were right. We need to go home. Come on. We can't. Not without Laurentius. Two of you surrounded the whole area? Get out of here! Call the others and get those alleys. Conrad lost his mind when his kid died. We have to burn innocent people? Chase kids? Meanwhile, the plague spreads through the village. You think it's normal to have a girl and a kid running around here with a thing? Hey! What the hell was that noise? Oh no, not again! Yeah. Which way? Uh, I don't know! There's no way out! Oh no! Quickly, please! I'm trying, I'm trying! Hold them for long. Quickly, quickly. They know we're here. No, it's stuck. You can go through there. Open it for me. Right. What the hell are you all doing here? They blocked it with a plan. Can you unblock it? I'm trying. Hurry. Hugo, please. I can't. Hugo, he's here. I'm Hugo, do something. Come on, Amicia. Run. <laughs> Stop, Amicia! <laughs> no, please, we've got to carry on! Just a little further! A dead end! We're finished! This way! No 
Don't be afraid. Come in. The most infected part of the village. Where are they? Listen, we'll tell Conrad you lost them. I'm not staying here. Rest now. You're safe. They'll never come looking for you here. You're so keen. There are clothes you can change into upstairs. In a chest in the bedroom. Ah, uh, are you sure? Thank you. What a nice lady. She said, oh, kids. <sighs> That's better. They need protection. What about you? We have to go and find mommy, Amicia. Uh, not yet. She told us to find Laurentius. That's silly. We're going to get caught. Hugo, we're going to do what she told us, and that's it. Hugo, wait. <sighs> they fit you. Good. They belonged to my grandchildren. Oh. My, my name is Claire V. I'm Amicia, uh, and this is Hugo. Say thank you, Hugo. Thank you. Claire v. what is happening here? The Death and destruction. The plague. So many people dead, and those still alive. But where are your parents? At home. They're waiting for us. We're looking for a doctor. Laurentius. A doctor? Perhaps... A, a man did come and help at the hospice early on. The monks might be able to tell you more, but... What? They haven't been seen recently. No one goes near the church anymore. It's all we have. We must go and see. You'll die there. But no one listens to old Clary anymore, so... Anyway, I see you have a sling. You're going to need it. But it'll be no use to you in that state. Go to the backyard. You'll find some new strips of leather there. And feel free to use the workshop in the next room for your repairs. That's very kind of you. Mutual aid lady. What Feel free to use the tools by the workshop. Right, got the leather. I just need the tools. The tools. Right, let's get to work. Come on. Keep calm and concentrate. Get your first set of upgrades. That's much better. With the right materials, I could improve it even more. And then I've got one curiosity. Right. I must go and thank Clovey. So? <laughs> it's a lot better. Thank you, Clevy. Thanks for everything. So that's where you lost them? Yes. Shh. They won't survive long around here if you ask me. What on earth are you doing? Put that mallet down. Are you stupid or what? I am not stupid. Don't shout. Children, that's enough noise. I want to see mommy. Shut up. You're going to get us killed! Okay, yeah, these are those very important parts right here, so I'm going to end up... I mean, I know the narrative of the game so far, uh, where I'm at here, because I'm much further ahead on my other playthrough, but 
Mummy will protect us. That's enough. I want to see Mummy. Mummy is dead, Hugo. You'll never see her again. Or Daddy. Amicia. You, you're lying. They were killed at the house. Both of them, so shut up. Lying, lying. I hate you. Please stop. Hugo, no. Hugo, wait. Don't go out. You're mad. Hugo, come back. What's he doing? Why are you so slow? him go so that's where you were no i i, d I didn't want to Amicia! i don't have Amicia! any problems hugo i'm i'm coming i get another rock gotta keep up on my rock stash See, it's please not say he's alive please say he's alive hugo Gonna put me in the co ah, I'm gonna stop ah. you. Why do you have no, to come please. here? Please, huh? why? Don't make me. Idiot. This armor has stopped axes and swords. Ah, there has to be a way to get. Ah. Not control. You're a slippery one. But one hit's all it takes. Just one. Ah. You're going to have to do better than that. Ah. You can defeat me. I fought in two wars, you know. I know what you're like. Fine. I can use that to my advantage. I'm going to show you what it's like to lose someone you love. an accident. Okay. Stop it. Don't go away from me, the only That's wow. Okay, I was absolutely fucked. I went to hit alt and it hit the I accidentally went too far. Sooner or later. Do it. 
It is a weapon. You said you wanted to be a knight. Amicia. You... you killed him. This is where shit gets really <sighs> terrifying. Look, Amicia. I... I'm coming. This is where, yeah, this is where the game gets really fucking scary. To be honest. Explore the church. Could be our way out. Climb up. I hope it doesn't break like the other one. It won't, Hugo. Trust me. Alicia, there's someone there. Children, what are you doing here? Father, we need help. Leave. It's dangerous. You have no business being here. Wait, please. It's important. We should go and talk to him. Is he the one who knows where Laurentius is? It has to be him. It has to. Oh, they've broken everything. What's going on here? Perhaps they're building bigger beds? I don't think that's it. I know some of the stuff that I get, but this is I a game that, that playthrough for medicinal you. herbs. The monks must have put them in the water to purify themselves. Mother used to do the same. So pretty. They're carnations. We had some in my herbarium. But those ones are prettier. Hugo, we have to keep moving. Wait, wait. Come here. What? It will protect you. And it's pretty too. Oh. All right. Now we can go. Thank you, Hugo. You're welcome. Yeah, don't be mean to him. He's... Precious, okay. He's a good kid. Okay, is that all? So. Father. You again. I told you to Just leave. Just a moment. Just a... You have no idea. Leave while you still Please. can. Please. Someone has to help us. Do it for him at least. The Robert Darun, coat of arms. We are his children. We are looking for Laurentius, the doctor. Do you know him? Yes, yes, I know him. And I know he used to look after your family. He spoke of you. Well, I am Father Thomas. Your presence here is not a good sign. The Inquisition. They came and they... I can imagine. But what is happening here is far worse. You must leave immediately, or you will die. Father, the villagers wanted to kill us. Oh, they're mad, they're mad. I... Oh, Laurentius, Laurentius. No, I, I, I cannot leave the church, uh, but an exit. Um, through the crypt of the three saints. 
It may not be too late. Uh, I shall try to put you on the path to Laurentius's farm, but uh, after that, uh, may God watch over you. All seems calm for the moment. Come. Get the fire by the side. Get the torch. Above all, be sure to stay in the light. Father, why are there crosses on the village doors? Is it really the plague? It started with bites during the night. Then the sickness spread. First in families, then to everyone. Fever, boils. People started dying. And when we finally found out where it came from, it, why, it was already too late. And where did it come from? We're nearly there. Her brother Morel should be here. We are the last two remaining. Stay here. Brother Morel! Brother? What is the matter? Father! The brother, we're going to have to climb up. I'll have to put the torch down. No, please. Calm down. There's a torch holder. We'll still have light. But then what? We'll find something. Spoke of a way out through the crypt. Amicia, the three statues. The crypt of the three saints. It's the exit the father spoke of. Oh, we have to find another way. Wow. Sulfur. I'll give you a hand. Right. Up there, Amicia. I should be able to knock it down. I'll try it. Try not to 
not to look. We can't do anything for them now. It's horrible. I know. Come on. Come on, get up there. Yes. Let's go. The controls get a little clunky whenever you're uh, wielding Hugo. <laughs> Follow me. Uh -huh. See, at least she's considerate that way. They're making too much noise. Too much noise. Hugo, calm down. The chittering. It is really loud. What does it take to make? Strength. I think more leather. Okay, so I can't make anything yet. I can find enough stuff. Yes. No rats. Torches. How can we? Uh, what are we going to do? That, that seems to keep them busy. Are you sure? Another ham should be enough. Come on. Right. Let's be careful. These things have been busting out of fucking stone walls. I don't think a table is gonna hold them back. Let's be honest. We'll be safe if we go that way. We won't fall. Hold my hand tight. A torch. There's a hole in the grating. I'll lift this up. Can you get the torch? Yes. <sighs> it's heavy. Hugo, hurry up. Come on. <clears throat> oh, no. uh, are you all right? Yes. Stay where you are. The ground is rotten. Misha, how, how am I going to get back? We'll find a way. Don't worry. As long as you have the torch, you'll be safe. But what about you? We'll uh, move together. That way, the light coming through the grating will protect me too. Ready? Ready. Here we go then, slowly. Very good. Look, there's a hole. Do you want the torch? Yes, there are too many rats on my side. Where can I get through? The hole behind you. That's the only way I can see. Go through there and I'll meet you on the other side. Are you sure? Just stop if you see rats. I'll be with you very quickly. All right, but please hurry.
back now. Calm down, Amicia. He's fine. You're fine. Stay focused. These twigs burn too quickly. I won't be able to keep them back long enough. So wow. But that sling is super strong. You know what? Off the pot. Go, 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 Wipe the stick. And then we break on through to the other side. with it right now. This is very important. <sighs> Not bad. Very, Not very bad important. at all. Something I learned from my other place. But now, we're safe here. I'm not ending stream, but I really gotta go. So,
Oh my god. Ben Gross. You absolute madman. Y'all. Y'all, this man literally, over the last 20 tweets, did the opening line for All Star. The beginning of every tweet. So if you start out at the top, 29 minutes ago, somebody should read the first word of my last roughly 20 tweets, including this one. Once told me the world was gonna roll every single, every single one. Telling them they're amazing. From the door. So you don't want to do that. Come on, I'll help you. Right. Yes. <sighs> oh, what's that on the ground? Should we go anyway? Yes, we've managed to get this far. We'll be fine. Just stay close. What's that stuff on the walls? I, I, I don't know. People. They did that. You, you think so? Yes, we, we're in their nest. So, they're going to be even more angry. Not the best part to start eating at. Yo. We did it. We did it. We... Amicia, I want to see mommy. I don't Hug want your to see dad. You go. I want dad to come back. So, we'll never be able to go back home? No. It's too dangerous. Are there rats there too? Maybe... I, I don't know, Hugo. I'm scared. They'll find us when it gets dark. We'll be safe with Laurentius. Come on. Up there! A windmill! Is that Laurentius's farm? I hope so. I've never seen a real windmill. If we're careful, you'll be seeing one very soon. Yeah, you just gotta be careful. Wait. Aww. Oh. Let's 
say alternate path, but no. Amicia, look! It's one of the men that attacked the house. The Inquisition. They're here. animals do i look like a rat how should i know well i say we'll never get rid of these nests using stupid lime whatever happens we have to get out of here before the sun goes down they like the dark so back to business that's an odd sound Nothing. Turn around. Go back. Amicia, look. There's a bridge that leads to the farm. What a waste of time. The Grand Inquisitor should just tell us what he really wants from us. All that noise. That should do it. With that and the second barricade, no one will ever get through. I'm going to the bridge. The cart will be back with the other barricades. We are trapped. There's a hole in the wall. Trust me. <laughs> that noise. Better go see what it was. Nothing to report. Yeah, nothing to report. Again? Got to know for sure. Tell Nicholas that the road is blocked. Any person or vehicle that wants to get through is to be stopped and searched. And what are we looking for exactly? A five-year-old kid. Hugo de Rune. Brown hair, blue eyes. Are they talking about me? Lord Nicholas, I mean... Shh, usual. The captain of the Purple Guard wanting them alive? Very important, I was told. 
Lord Nicholas has his orders direct from the Grand Inquisitor himself. So keep your eyes peeled. Evelyn, there's a guard in there. Where was that noise coming from? Over there! Careful how you land. That's right, not a sound. <clears throat> so, it was a false alarm. <sighs> not bad. Not bad at all. What? What did I do? Why are they looking for me? You didn't do anything. It's... They're the ones who did something. If they catch us, will they hurt us? They are not going to catch us, all right? All right. <laughs> Hugo? Hugo? Where are you? Oh, Hugo, it's not funny. Boo, Hugo. Did I scare you? The Inquisition is here, Hugo. Do you want them to take you away? Don't ever do that again. All right. They're here. Just between you and me, the Grand Inquisitor. Hey, piggies, you should hide. It's dangerous. He'll save us. But he needs Lord <laughs> and us too. We all have to part of this. So that's why we signed up. True enough. Have no doubt, brother. <laughs> it's good. Ridiculous. Oh, they're everywhere. I did, I did hear something over there. Nothing. Jen, I'm 
going to see. You have to be sure. Don't be caught off guard. All right, everybody back to your positions. As I thought. Someone of ours along the trail earlier. Dead as a doornail. Shouldn't we bury him? Had he been bitten? Yeah. Did you touch him? Ah, good. Because when a rat bites you, it poisons your blood. You get boils all over, and everyone around you can get it and die too. That's why it's called the bite. Well then, I think we'll just leave him where he is. Saw something. Guards! Intruders! We'll find you eventually. Just a matter of time. <laughs> this way! <laughs> oh, god damn it. was that? Intruder! On down! Keep searching. Keep your eyes open. going to call us back to camp. Shit, it's nearly dark. Stop looking. They are long gone. Huh? Wait. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> I need to calm down. So they can't see us anymore? No, they can't. I'll give you a hand. All right.
Hugo, we can't stop. Not here. Mm, I feel funny. Come on. You'll be able to rest when we get to Laurentius's place. My head. It hurts. I, I don't know what to do, Hugo. What would mommy do? Give me medicine. I can carry you. That's the best I can do. Come on, climb up. I shouldn't leave the house, you know. I know. That must be why I feel all funny. You're just tired. I miss her. At least I feel like you it's worked to see being tired. Hmm? Nothing. Honestly, don't know. Catching up on this playthrough to my normal one. Laurentius's mill. We're nearly there. Will he shut me inside again? Like mommy. He'll get us to safety. All right. It's true, it's dangerous out here. But sometimes it's fun too. You'll get better one day. <laughs> Are those dead animals? What on earth happened here? We're going to have to be careful now. You better get down, Hugo. It's getting in my shoes. Oh, I don't believe it. Ah, no, 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 no. The torch! Get to the torch quickly! Calm down. It's all right. They can't reach us. Come on, let's go. Something I can hit with a swing. No. Oh, Alicia, there's some fire up there. Let's go. Come. The torch. Quickly. Come on, faster. I'll get you up. Yeah, okay. Yes. It's just a sprinty game. No. That was close. That mud again. We'll never get through. Good lord. Are they really all dead? They 
they've been slaughtered by the Inquisition, probably. I'm going to be sick. Yeah. Yeah, I would be too, buddy. Plenty of sticks over here. Let's go. Yes. This is terrible. Come on, here we go again. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. Me push. Uh -huh. mm. Come on, <laughs> nearly so there. Amicia, mm. why did they kill <gasps> the pigs? Maybe pigs? Uh, to contain the rats here. Those big fucking pigs. Holy shit. It's very, <gasps> very mm. heavy. We did it. We made it. Hello, Laurentius. Shh, you go. But what if it's not Laurentius? Huh? Did you think of that? Sorry. With or without it being Laurentius, I'm here for your materials. The windmill? What's left of it? It's pretty. I have all the saltpeter I need. It's really dark. Maybe there's a monster in it. Well, let's go, Hugo. Very good, kid. Locked. We have to get in somehow. must have been here. Poor thing. Climb up. Uh -huh. I'll go first. Of course. I'm looking for your resources. I'm looking for your resources. I need them to survive. <laughs> Oh, you're still alive. 
I'm sorry about your friends. Hey, go. You a big old pig. It's locked. There? Okay, so that's the spot. To get in. a flower. You go. Hey. This is not really the time, you know. Please. All right, go ahead. Called Granny's bonnet. It's as if she's hanging her head because she's sad. Perhaps she would be less lonely with us. Yes. It's not good to be alone. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, that's a very weird addition to the house. Hugo, you go in there and open the door for me quickly. And be very careful, right? Yeah. Good. Oh, it smells funny. It's alcohol from the stills. Someone's there. Let's go and see. Who are you? Magister Laurentius! Stop right there. He's contagious. Uh, you go here. The Inquisition came. We lost everything. There was nothing I could do. Oh, I... Of course. Uh, they came for him. Oh. An, an evil. An ancient evil. Courses through your family's veins. In its blood. Your mother and I attempted to slow its progress. But ever since the great break, the process has quickened. You must protect him, Amis. And now, it becomes a question of, is it moral to kill a bunch of people to protect your brother from them slaughtering him? because your family was born with a great evil in its blood. Now, here's my case. Um, that is my brother. He has literally done nothing himself. He was born, he has headaches. I believe that he should be looked at and treated, because it's obviously some sort of disease. Or he's some sort of Pied Piper fuck, I don't know. But in my opinion so far, no, you should not be killing my brother, Yes, I will murder you. In a video game. That's the moral question. Yeah. Uh, continue your mother's work. Me? But how? My parents tried and now they are both dead. Leave me alone! How dare you, Amicia? They're here. The rats are dangerous. But disorganized. The Inquisition, however, they seek the boy tirelessly. We have to disappear. Head to the Chateau d'Ombrage. Lucas, go to the bar. You will finish the Ignifer. Don't try to talk. I will prove myself. I'm sorry about your parents. But you're not alone anymore. We have to move fast. You can help me make the Ignifer. It will protect us from the rats. What is this Come, Hugo. Thing? I don't want you to stay here. Yeah, apologize. You shouldn't have been rude. That was so Stop fucking rude. Bar. Come on. They've managed to get in. Find a way to keep them busy. Hands. Good idea. Ah, but they're frightened of the light, the lantern. It's all right. Do it. Come on. 
Stay close to me. Are you two okay? It's been a long trip. Hello there. Not a night to stay outside, hey? Those bags look heavy. Rotten grain. Must be to feed the pig. Oh no. They've come back. They're everywhere. We have to reach the back of the barn. We can't leave without the igniter. How are we going to do it? We will eat meat. Dead or alive. can use this. I see. Let me help you. Uh, are we going to feed him? <clears throat> you could say that. Yes, dinner time, Piggy. Yum, yum. So cute. That's it. Make sure you're too public, or you'll get stomach ache. We have to make sure it stays. I'll close the door. There's a ladder down the side. Come on, let's go. Hugo? Hugo, listen. You can sulk if you like, but stay close. <laughs> you go first. really upset now. I need to apologize. Ah, the light. Yes. Hugo, uh, look away, please. Why? This is more than just a doctor's lab. My master is also an above all, a great alchemist. Your name is Amicia, right? I'm Lucas. I would like to show you something, but it requires alcohol and so forth. There must be some around here. Tell me when you found them. Um, all right. Alcohol and sulfur. Alcohol, sulfur, that's everything. Levite, extractum, sick, an alchemical plan. Latin. I'm dissolving the reagents. Oh. Oh, it's uh, just alchemy. Lucas, why am I not a legal in case? He was bitten by a rat. You weren't. And is he going Here you to go, die? Lucas. Right. Now you have to mix them. Do it slowly. It's not dangerous. All right. So, this is it. Wait! Oh, no! No! We're stuck! Not yet. The Ignifer, Amicia. It's time. Aim for the embers at the center of the room. All right. Whoa. Look, it makes fire. Did, did I do that? <laughs> did I really just do alchemy? Yes, your mixture is perfect. Like mother, like daughter. Do you know what? I'll show you how to create other projectiles. This will be really useful. I'd love to. Thank you. I finished my mixes. We have to go back to Laurentius. Amicia, you should go ahead. Rats, get back! The Ignifer! Throw it 
out on the embers. Please don't blow up in my face. Come on, get up there. There's a lot of them. Vincius, I'll clear away. Come on. This way. Yes, of course. Time is of the essence. Come on. Leave me alone. Hugo, listen. About earlier, I, I just wanted to tell you that I'm... The house has gone dark. No, no! Master! Lucas, wait! Just chilling down! Look out! It went dark and now it's on fire. Do something! We have to leave. Now! Master! Hey! Stop! We need you! Look! The house! to go. Hugo, Lucas, run. We need that horse. They're everywhere. Lucas, I'm here. Where does this trail lead to? Lucas, where's this taking us? To the river. Kids. Raven spoils. I think I'm on Act Seven. Keep in mind, we went. We started in Act. At the beginning of Act Two. We're at five right now, so we're doing great. We've got some segments in. I've been going for two hours so far. One of the longest streams I've had in a, in a, in a while. Uh, honestly, if y'all are enjoying it, hit that like button. If you want to see more content, uh, go ahead and subscribe. <sighs> you know, playbacks and whatnot. Um, I think I'm going to take myself a little bit of a break. Uh, not not much of one. I need to stand up and move around. Uh, probably going to take a smoke break. My back is starting to hurt from sitting where I am. Uh, just a bit of a... Just to show you. I'm sitting right now on a uh, old like milk crate type thing. There's uh, my drums behind me and stuff. because my And this is my living room. Because I had to move my computer out here to be able to record everything. Bedroom was getting too crowded to record music. So we're out here. And it's pog. Super pog. But as it sits, uh, yeah, I think I, I might need to be taking a, a very short break. I might need to step out. One concurrent viewer. Hello, viewer. Goodbye, viewer. That was, that was so fucking fast. Uh, 
I don't know, the viewer might still be there, but I will be right back. Uh, give me like three to five minutes or so, you know, it's not a very long.
to get off fucking hilarious, okay? This is really funny. Just the best shit. It's time. Today we learn. After all that, we finally learn. The finale. The final version. I'm not confused. Now she's had a point. I'm moving away. Now she's had a point. I'm not confused. God, it's not she's had a I can't believe they said this. He said this. Shit, 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 shit,
Wonderful work. Thank you, Jazz Dog. You just got the subscription from a much smaller channel. But you know what? I am proud. Proud. To throw a subscription. That way. You know, gotta support the other content creators. Not all of them, though. Only the ones I like. I mean, I don't like many of them. To be honest, I don't like many people. I think half of you are dumb and half of you are just not very interesting to me. Nothing personal against all of you, but personal failing I'm gonna have to overcome. <laughs> Lucas? Yes? What does he have in his blood? There's an old story. It tells of the Prima Macula. The alchemist said it was the first corruption, and that it silently traveled. Okay. Okay. Hold on. In the blood of certain families, <coughs> but something happened. The great break, and the macula awoke in Hugo's blood. But what will it do to him? The macula cares for neither good nor evil. It evolves with its host to change things, the world. You know, your mother and Laurentius were trying to help your brother, but they failed. No. I think they just ran out of time. This is it. Hugo, wake up. Come on, we'll walk from here. It'll warm you up. <coughs> if we follow the aqueduct, we should arrive at Chateau d'Ambrage before nightfall. What's that noise? Nothing. It's just frogs, Hugo. Frogs? <laughs> he seems well. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Aren't you cold? A little, yeah. Hugo doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> he's keeping himself warm. Yes, but he's too far for my liking. Hugo, come on back a little bit, brother. Come on, brother. <laughs> Hugo, where are you going?
Hugo! English shield. Where did you find that? Over there, lying on the ground. Listen, Hugo. Put that down. It's not for children. Oh, you're not fun. Come on, let's go. Do you smell that? Oh, it stinks. Yes, it's horrible. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god. Are they all dead? We can't carry on. Amicia, we have to follow the aqueduct. Oh my goodness. Amicia, do we have to walk on them? I know you go, but we don't have a choice. Do you think we are hurting men? Just keep moving, Hugo. Come on. Do you think we're hurting? No. I don't really think they feel anything there. Little brother. It's unbearable. I feel sick. Don't look. Concentrate on the aqueduct. Lucas? I... I don't know. Oh no! The rats! Keep away from them! Amicia, they're everywhere! Hundreds of them! I... I don't believe it! Soldiers. We have to get out of here. What were they doing? Those were looters, looking for things to steal. But why? To survive, probably. Like us. Get through. We need fire. Amicia, there's some wood down there, but there's rats everywhere. <laughs> Could you lend a hand? All right. Ugh, we can't hold it back for long. <laughs> going to have to go through. Yes, yes. Be careful. I did it! I made it! Good. Now come back. There you go. Ow. My arms. They're paralyzed. Well done, you two. Got to get 
here, there. Both of these people. Don't appear to be all that fast. Into the grass quickly. He mustn't see us. Amicia, his lantern. I... I understand. He's coming! What? Huh? <laughs> oh, Lord. It's horrible. But it worked. Too many rats. We're stuck. Into the tower. I can see light. Triple wrecked. Wait. Okay, so I'm missing something. Don't know what it is at this moment. Climb up very well. Where should we go? They are everywhere. Yep, yep, they are everywhere. I'm just trying to see what I got. Can't go there. Running and dodging makes less noise. Okay. You've convinced me, game. Not bad. Not bad at all. Mind you, don't get burned. We're making too much noise. They're going to spot us. Help me push. All right. stuck in the mud. We'll have to leave it here. Come on. Yeah, what the hell are you doing? Hold him still. This is proper horrible. Come on, I just want his teeth. Yeah, but still. Keep the path below the yeah. aqueduct, monsieur. The rats are everywhere. Shh. We'll find a way. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Over there, a torch. I might have a chance if I go alone. Yeah, shit, he won't punch. Wait there. We'll I'll be back soon. I can't fucking stand this road. Why don't you try a different one? You've got well, nothing the better to do than muck around with a corpse.
coast is clear. I'm coming. Alright, so essentially the test is if I get the torch and successfully get out. Stay away. Don't look. Try to ignore everything you see here, Hugo. I forget how I did this before. Amicia, look how they're drawn to them. up before you do stupid things. Could I have saved him? Oh no! The torch! We'll do without it, Amicia. Perfectly good torch. Just can't keep your hands on it. There's a soldier. He's blocking the way. I don't see any other way. For a while. Thank you. This is going to save our lives. Another machine. This one seems a bit different. You can do this. Go in, Hugo. That's it. You need to take care of it. Thank you. 
very, did it. very scary. You did the hard part. I just want us to get out of here. Me too. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Well, hurry up then, nerd. Hopefully, get it all out of here. Nope. Okay, so to make this, I need another string, tools, and uh, three more cloth. Reduce the reload time. I need one more leather, one more alcohol, and tools. Those are bodies, aren't they? Yes. Bodies. Let's go. Cause the tower was full of bodies. And the bodies are on fire. Ah. I'll help you up. I... I can't. What's the matter? My head! The macula! He's afraid. We have to get out of here. Hugo? Hugo! Think of the frogs! Remember how they jumped? You were chasing them. Come on, let's go and see some more. Yes! We have to get out of here, Amicia! We will. This place can't go on forever, right? Evil shit they did, but no. Physically impossible for it to go on forever. I have those. Those. I need more rocks. There's an awful lot of them. But we don't have a choice. Corey! 
streets, lads. And I know you're tired. I know there's not enough of us. And I definitely know we'd all like to get far, far away from these fucking rats. But these are our boys. They gave their lives for England. And what if it were you? You'd want a decent burial, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Come on, then. Guyen is ours. What's that, then? Amicia, I'm very tired. Look, there are trees again. I think we're getting to the end. Finally. Many dead. Where did you come from? You alone? Watch out. Say something, asshole. That's my sister, you bastard. Now let us go. You'll never see us again, I swear. <laughs> no hey, chance. Hey, what about them? Where I come You're just gonna let them go? What? Hey! Now! Let's get out of here. We're following them. There. They're running away. Huh? Huh? Hugo. Run. Amicia. Let go of me. What do y'all think so far? Pretty good game. Pretty good game. Hey, wakey wakey. Bury something. You're lucky, you know. Your everyday corpse robber usually gets a sword in the belly. No questions asked. But me, I've got an eye for that fancy jewelry. And you're lucky I like gold better than blood, Lady Darun. Where is my brother? Oh, shut up! The better you look, the higher the ransom. Might have bruised the goods a bit too much already. The ransom? Who's paying it? Oh, uh, you'll see soon enough. You're not in your shadow anymore, so cork it, all right? Mangy. Who are you, Melly? The other one's Arthur. Y'all, I hope you have a good night because I have actually had a pretty good night. That's going to wrap this one up, actually. Uh, I'll drop the segment individually. It'll be a bit of a thing. I'm going to have to figure out how to title it. The live stream isn't going to get... I mean, I, I don't get monetization anyways. But yeah, at uh, 2 hours and 59 minutes, I think... Or 52 minutes, I think we're good. Almost 3 full hours. Uh... So, something I want to bring attention to before we actually wrap up fully is uh, you should 
you should reach out do mutual aid you can find online mutual aid efforts you can look online and social media places to find local area like local things in your community to try and do mutual aid uh you can go work at a homeless sh shelter like volunteer there food pantry stuff like that try and make sure that you're helping take care of the community if you have the time honestly like I understand there's people who are too busy, there's people who already are just grinded down by the excesses of your job and, and home life and, and stuff. Like, I stream, but I do need to step out and do a little bit more. I, I can recognize that. I don't do enough. I do a little bit. And then I come home and I try and tell people, hey, you know, like, we should do these things and there's ways we can improve society and let's analyze this and let's make fun of this person and... Then we just have a good old time. But, yeah, no, we, we've got stuff that we can actually do. I mean, mutual aid can include going and sucking dicks, or feeding people, or doing a community garden that grows food for homeless people. Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can do. You can, you can grow food in your yard. Like, grow, like, strawberry bushes or whatever the fuck, and people can come by and just... There you go. Just make it free. Don't charge people for the strawberries. It's fine. You're not selling them. They're literally just there growing, and if people take them, oh well. Whatever. Grapes, whatever the fuck you want to do. Just some little food thing. Whatever's appropriate for your area. There's a whole lot of ways to do mutual aid. But if we all started doing something to help the communities, to help each other, and with the internet, like, while we have currency, Cash App and, and Venmo and PayPal and stuff have been really useful for helping people get goals, GoFundMes and stuff, because our system here in America, at the very least, is fucking broken, and being able to help somebody in Kentucky when you live in Florida is really nice. It's, it's a nice thing to be able to do. So while currency is a thing, you can donate money to people's, like, uh, uh, crowdfunding efforts. That stuff is helpful. Five, ten dollars here, fifteen dollars there, uh, growing a garden here and there, like, these efforts will accumulate and people will start to replicate them. And if we can change the social attitude towards these things... We can actually do some more, alright? I'm actually going to make a video on that. And uh, that's going to be all for me tonight. Y'all have a great night, and uh, take care. Again, uh, if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, do the stuff. And uh, yeah, have a good night.